All right, everybody. Welcome to another Apollo Explorer video. We're in an area a little bit outside my house. I thought it would be a good starting place. Here's my Explorer right here. I parked it for a bit because I have to tell you guys some things, but also we're getting close to 100 miles. I've had this thing a little bit over a week and a half probably. We are at 96 miles right now. So during this ride, we will hit the 100 mile mark, which will be exciting. Um, I wanted to kind of wait for sunset, but I don't really think there's gonna be one. So the SD card I have right now, this is the only one that will shoot 4K and it only can record for 30 minutes. So I wanna make sure I use my time wisely here. I've spent the last week riding this to work every single day. One day I got to work and the front wheel was completely crooked. Like handlebars were straight, everything was perfect. Um, but the wheel was crooked. So like the handlebars were one way, the wheel was the other way. That was frustrating. I was like, what the heck is going on? And not only that, but the stem had a lot of play to it. Um, and that was really annoying. I, and it just didn't feel exactly stable, you know? And it seemed like it was getting worse. I could literally just twist the thing without the wheel turning with my hand. Um, so I reached out to Apollo and they actually just got back to me um, today. So I read their email and all he said that I had to do was loosen and then retighten these four bolts right here. I didn't do every single one of them, so maybe that's what's going on right now, but I did that. I loosened like three of these, retightened them, and then the whole thing tightened up. Just as I was writing down here, it seemed that the stem got a little bit looser again, and I didn't go very far. So I don't know. I'm hoping this isn't a thing that just continues to happen. Anywho. I can't even see what the time is running right now, but we are gonna start going and uh, just tell you guys a little bit about my first impressions after 100 miles of ride time on the Apollo Explorer. Now, I don't know, I don't really know where to begin here because first off, I haven't done a lot of really fun rides. Actually, yesterday though, I did go on a 15 mile ride, 15, and the battery wasn't even fully charged, but I got home right as it was like reaching the death point. So that was, that was perfect timing. I literally got home and I'm like, dude, this is perfect. So this is a busy street right here, but this is actually the way that I go to work. So it's fun, you get to kind of look at the lagoon. Um, we're in mode three right now. So I'm already going 31 right now, 32. Um, this thing is a lot of fun. I recently found the confidence to work my way up to mode three, and it's it's definitely pretty cool. I hope you guys can hear me okay. There's quite a bit of wind at 32 miles an hour. I actually hit a top speed on this thing on Sunday. I got to 36 miles an hour, and that was, again, before I, I adjusted this thing and tightened everything up. So that being said, it does feel better right now. My concern is, though, just how many bumps can it take before it starts to loosen everything up again? That's my fear, you know, because I don't want to have to be tightening or loosening and tightening those bolts all the time. You know, I just want to have fun riding it and I want it to stay stable for quite some time. So anyway, we are going to take a ride. We're going to take a ride up here at this light because I don't know, I just really want to go on this road. Um, so we're going to see what happens, but this is dangerous because the bike lane disappears and pretty much everybody turns right right here. Um, I got to let them know that I'm actually turning right. Ooh, there's some bumps right there. So it did loosen it up a little bit. Um, okay. Another thing I want to tell you, talk to you guys about is the regen braking, which I discovered. This thing actually does have regen braking. Super cool. I didn't know that at first because when I put the brakes on, I didn't feel anything. So I went through the P settings which I can explain to you guys in another video. Um, but Apollo actually has a great video of all the P settings, so I can probably uh, link that one up here for you guys. But I went through the P settings and found out that the regen braking was set to one. So it was on, but it was only set to one. So at, when you first turn the scooter on, the regen's only at one, and you don't really feel it. Now, let me just give you an example. This is just me tapping my brakes. That's the regen, and right there it lets off. So just to kind of explain to you guys what's going on with that. So I have the regen braking set to three right now, and it's basically the amount of resistance that the motor gives you uh, right off the bat. So like if I had it set to five, it goes from one to five. One, I didn't really feel anything, and zero, actually, you can turn it completely off if you don't want it. Um, one, I didn't really feel anything. Two is you can feel it, but you can't really notice it. So then I switched it to three. So three, I actually really like because three does you good. 
Um, whew, got some wood in right there. I gotta focus. We are mobbing. So anyway, this is something I wanted to know when I had the scooter. Regen, the regen braking is nice. It's really cool. And if you put it on three, basically the motor can do a stopping at a good rate to where you don't ever have to use your brakes. But the only downside to this is, and I haven't really tested it out for a full stop, but um, like if I had to stop hard, I haven't really tested this out. But so when I tried it out, I mentioned that it lets off and it does 100%. So if the regen braking, the motor, the motor doesn't give you full resistance all the way down to zero. It only gives you that much resistance to about eight or nine miles an hour, which is what I just stopped at back there. So that's something to note. So if you are having to stop fast, you're gonna wanna engage both the regen and the brakes at the same time uh, because otherwise though, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting to the hang of it to the point where I can use the regen braking to stop and I can anticipate the coast. And at that point when the scooter starts coasting, I basically don't really have to stop. So if you use the regen braking at the right time, all you gotta do is coast and then let the motor stop you and then just use the brakes a tiny bit to stop it at the end. Anyway, sorry, I'm going on and on about this too much. Um, but that's basically how the regen braking works, so it's pretty cool. That's my opinion on that. I like that. Um, I like the power of this thing. I said in my last video, I set the acceleration up to five and it does get going pretty quick. And when I first started riding it, I noticed it. Now I don't really notice it so much because I have more of like a scooter riding etiquette. You know, when you put on the, uh, when you put on the accelerator, you, you're gonna wanna lean forward, right? So leaning forward, you can feel it a lot less. So this is a really cool area right here. Let me guys just kind of rotate my body so you guys can see. This is going right by the lagoon, goes right uh, over the freeway actually. I like this road a lot. By the way, we're at 99 miles. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the display. It's a little darker out, so hopefully you can. But uh, that's, I will let you guys know when we hit 100. We're, we are getting close. And there is a gas station up here I want to stop at before we keep going just to give you guys some of my first thoughts there but yeah the one thing that the one thing that i can complain about with the explorer was that this was loose and it didn't feel good and the stem was kind of like that when i first got it um which okay i gotta look behind me here always worry about people trying to cut me off which is what people usually try to do you see that you see that anyway so here's an example, I can coast most often um, where I don't even need to use the brakes or the regen. Look at that, I'm basically at zero without even using the brakes at all. That way I don't have to step off the scooter. I can stay standing, keep my footing. But I really like this thing. The range, okay, let's talk about the range. I'll get to the gas station and then we'll continue that discussion up there. Um, but the range is good. The range, they advertise, Apollo advertises 34 for the Explorer. I haven't gotten 34, but on my first, my first run, before I had to charge it for that first time, I got to around 26. And that was, ooh, well, look at those gas prices, 439 for regular and 469 for premium, which is what I get. Anyway, here's a little lookout point. You can see the lagoon over here. I'll stop over here for you guys. So now I have no regen right now because I'm not going fast enough. Okay. Oh man, it's not 100 yet. That's unfortunate. Um, but anyway, give you guys a little bit of a look out here. I live in a really nice area, I will have to say. The things I've commented on so far, uh, regen braking, and that's a, that's a pro actually. I really do like that. And I didn't realize it at first because both of the brake levers, they are regular brake levers for the disc brakes, but they also, before they even engage the disc brakes, the regen braking comes on. So range, Apollo advertises 34. I haven't gotten 34, but my first time riding this thing before I charged it up that first time, I got 26 miles and that wasn't even on a full battery. Next time I charged it up, I got 30 miles. I rode to work. I was able to ride to work and back. I was testing it for four days. Four days I rode to work and back, which is pretty darn cool. The charge time, 
that's another thing here. It's, uh, they say eight hours. I set a timer for eight hours. It wasn't quite done at eight hours, just so you know that. So maybe plug it in a little bit before you need to. Other than that though, it's fine. Like you leave it plugged in overnight, it'll be charged in the morning. These things, I have heard that they do loosen and I've noticed that one, see, that's already a little loose. So that loosens up the thing a little bit. The stem, actually it feels good right now after tightening it up, but that was one complaint I had about it. There were bubbles in the grip tape. There still are, but they're not major and I don't really care about them too much. Um, but I know there was, I, I had watched one video where a guy was like really mad about that. Um, you know, whatever, it's whatever. 100 miles, I've ridden this thing 100 miles. It's, it's been awesome to me. And so far Apollo has answered my question, my concern about not uh, having a stable handlebar setup. Um, but it feels good right now. So the question is, and I will update you guys on this. Uh, how often does it come loose like that? Because that would be annoying. Okay, so I went on a ride after church Sunday of last week. And uh, I'm just going to take it slow right now for you guys, just because I feel like it. Um, I went on a ride after church last Sunday, and I hit a speed bump pretty hard. So I'm thinking that kind of jacks things up a wee little bit. And, uh, you know... This, this person's going a little slow. Oh man, I didn't put it on throttle fast enough. Um, yeah, so I think that might have caused the initial problem. Uh, but, you know, it's whatever. You know what, for the rest of this, I think I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the ride. Um, who knows, maybe I won't even use this video in this way, but I think I will, as long as the audio sounds good. And if not, I can put subtitles or let you guys know what I was saying. Look at that bird, that's so cool. Okay, but this is really nice actually out here. I think coming down this road when there is a sick sunset, right here, you see this? This is what I want. When there's like a sick sunset right here, this is a beautiful shot. It's such a cool environment and a place that I live, I live in, I live in Carlsbad right by this is the um actually i'm not going to tell you guys that i don't want you to find out exactly where i live <laughs> but uh i live in carlsbad that's all i'm going to say beautiful place lived here for all my life my parents have owned the house they've actually just paid it off which props to my dad like good job on that one that's awesome okay here we go regen the regen's nice, like it's a little bit jarring and right there is gonna let off. But you know, as long as you're expecting it, it's not really too bad, too big of a deal. All right, let's mob right here, guys. Mob to the beach, like this is so cool. With a sunset, this would be even cooler. 33. Can we get 34? We're getting close, yeah. She's going fast too though, actually. But not quite as fast as me. There's a lot of people at the beach right now, actually. We're gonna have some fires set up up there. So cool. Anyway, that's my little... Oh, guys, we're at 100 miles. I was gonna say, we just passed it, but we actually haven't passed it yet, so we're fine. But yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna let this video keep rolling uh, until my GoPro stops recording. So... Hopefully it hasn't already, that would be really sad. <laughs> but we're just gonna cruise down Coast Highway for a while. And uh, I'll probably do a lot more videos here where my voice is not annoying you. And we'll come back here over sunset because it's gonna be so cool. Also guys, before I do a send off, I have some really fun scooter videos coming up this week. So stay tuned. Um, Anyway, that's about it. We're gonna zoom past this bike and uh, I'll catch you guys later.
on a sunset night, this will look beautiful. On a cloudy night, it's like, eh, whatever. takes for him to pass me.